Members of the Locked Up Investment Holders Forum have begun their protests to demand payment of their funds. The group a year ago began engagement with the Bank of Ghana to help them redeem their investments from the financial houses and savings and loans companies. But the group is protesting today because they say the central bank has not demonstrated enough in resolving the matter. Convener of the group, Dr. Du Anani Engie, says they want the BOG to take over these financial institutions and pay the customers their investments. This morning, uh, members of the Locked Up Investment Forum have actually hit the street uh, to protest, to put pressure on the Bank of Ghana to help retrieve their locked up funds with some financial houses and savings and loan companies across the country. These are persons who have invested with uh, corporate finance uh, entities, some even invested with church corporate entities. All of them are saying that their money is over the period have been locked up with us entities without being able to retrieve them. Uh, despite the back and forth with the Bank of Ghana, they have mentioned that they've not been able to get their money and so they are hitting the street. They started a walk actually from the premises of the NDK Financial Company around the Accra Sports Stadium and heading towards the Bank of Ghana to present their uh, 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 their petition to governor of the BOG. And so that's what is happening. If you look on some of the placards, they have the Bank of Ghana. Don't kill investors with your poor supervision. Others are saying that the Bank of Ghana should wake up and do its job. Others say we want our money back. We worked for it. Bank of Ghana, you are the watchman of SDIs. Wake up. That is the information on some of the placard, we can try and have a conversation with some of them to know what exactly what their plight are. But we would want to have a conversation with you. Uh, tell us about your own situation with this host savings and loan companies and your lockup funds. To be honest with you, right now I have to take my medication every other day. I can't afford to take it every day. I have to space it out. You can't live comfortably like you have planned to do. And it is, it is not right at all. It is so unfair. This is money that we worked to save. And we are punishing us for saving. Because without saving, without investments, business cannot go on in any country. So if we have saved, if we have sacrificed our little money to save, why should we be punished for it? We thought that we were going to the BOG uh, to terminate the protest. Why are we here at the Kwame Nkrumah? Well, according to the police, they have declared uh, those areas as security zone. You recall that when the minority uh, in parliament held their protest, they stopped them at some point. And I'm told, the police told me it was at this point that they stopped them. So we don't want to force the police to go against their own rule. So we were even going to be at the roadside there, but they realized that the sand is too much. So they pleaded with these people to allow us here so that we can rest under this uh, 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 shade. So but, but was that the original plan? Yes. The original plan was to, for you to come here? To, to be at the roadside there, to converge there, and then wait for our leaders to go and come. But now they have allowed us to come inside here so that the sun we shall be protected by the sun. What's, what's the next plan now? The next plan is from the, the Bank of Ghana. We are going to the Minister of Finance. So not all of you are going to meet there? No, no. Ten people are going to meet. Who are you going to meet at the building? The governor. We wrote that we want to meet the governor. If you don't meet he himself, what, what would you do? Well, as an organization, I know I've heard an institution before. So let them decide who is going to be do that. You have a petition you are going to present? Today. The petition is already with them since November. And we are just going to find out what is the governor doing about the petition and the proposal we have submitted for the resolution of this matter. There are some key highlights in that petition and the proposal as we have proposed two methods or approaches. Either you give them money, these institutions that are not able to operate, NDK Financial Services, SDC Financial Services, SIC Life uh, Savings and Loans and Bond Savings and Loans, give them support 
find some money. We have said that they should be talking to the uh, development partners.